Well, that was Honduran Elections Exposed, brought to us by The Real News. We'll be looking at part two tomorrow. Let's hear it for independent media. Speaking of which, Comcast, the nation's biggest cable and broadband internet company, has announced plans to take over NBC Universal. The result would be a new kind of media monolith that would not only produce a lot of popular programming, but also control viewers' access to it. Under the deal, which has been in the works for months, Comcast would acquire a 51% stake in NBC from its current owner, General Electric. The Pentagon contractor would retain its 49% share. The Washington Post reports that all in all, the joint venture would control more than one out of every five television viewing hours. It has consumer groups and lawmakers worried, but will there be a big regulatory battle? Hmm, Congress doesn't have a great record. In 96, a Democratic president was the one that okayed the last great concentration of media power under the generous terms of that year's Telecommunications Act. Nonetheless, with almost one in four cable subscribers in the United States being a Comcast customer, an NBC Universal owning not just NBC, but also dozens of cable channels, including Telemundo, MSNBC, and Bravo, as well as theme parks, TV stations like Washington's Channel 4 and Universal Movie Studios, the NBC Comcast deal is a biggie. Senators John Rockefeller IV of West Virginia, chair of the Commerce Committee, and Herb Cole of Wisconsin of the Judiciary Antitrust Subcommittee have both called for hearings, and Michael J. Copps, a Democratic member of the FCC, has said the merger faces a very steep climb with him. High on the list of critics' concerns are worries about the impact on online video. Would Comcast NBC continue to make other people's video available? free, as much of it is now, on their Comcast-controlled internet providers. Well, why would they? Only if government enforces net neutrality. In other words, only if there's a law. In the meantime, it's time to cherish evermore all that remains in the way of independent media. And yes, that's our self-interest speaking.